Hi, this is Larry Sabula. I'm trying out something. It's uh, Cam Studio. Cam Studio is a screencasting recorder. It's like Camtasia, but it's free. I just downloaded it and thought I'd give it a try and make some kind of how to video. And the how to video I'm going to make is how to remove highlighting in Google News articles so you can get a nice screen capture and use it in a public history presentation, such as a movie or, or as a still image or whatever. Um, so let's begin. Here's an article, a compelling article and a great headline that would make a good image in the Google newspaper archive. This has to do with the case of a Spokane police chief, John Sullivan. In 1911, John Sullivan was assassinated. Uh, somebody shot him through the window of his own house. He died in the hospital a couple days later. Big scandal, lots of news, kind of a famous incident in Spokane history, and the case was never solved. Um, lots of potential suspects. John Sullivan had plenty of enemies. A couple of my students are doing a presentation about John Sullivan for the smartphone app, Spokane Historical, and they've been having trouble finding images, and I think this headline would make a fine image. Except it wouldn't make a fine image, would it? Look at it. It doesn't look like a regular newspaper article. It's blue, and it's got yellow highlighting in it and stuff, and there's no obvious way to remove it. How do you get rid of that stuff? Well, let's take a look at it. Uh, there's two steps. The yellow terms are the that are highlighted in yellow are the search terms, and, spoke, and Google News Archive is telling us where those search terms are. If you look up here, Spokane, Sullivan, Shot were my search terms, so that's what comes up. Those are those are actually pretty easy to get rid of. Look up here at the URL. It's a long cumbersome complicated URL. But what you're looking for are the ampersands. You know, ampersands are those and signs. There's one right there. Um, that ampersand is followed by our search terms, Spokane, uh, Sullivan, and so on. What I'm going to do is place the cursor right before the ampersand, highlight the ampersand and everything that comes after it, delete, enter, and there we go. We've removed the search terms, but we're still at the same article. The part of the URL that remains directs us to the article, but the search terms are no longer there, so they're not highlighted. So we got rid of the yellow, but we're only halfway there. We've still got this blue. How do we get rid of the blue? The blue is simply the Google News Archive's way of telling us where we are in the, uh, in the, article, in the newspaper. Uh, which headline it is. If we back out, you can sort of see if you're in a whole, if you're looking at the entire newspaper, it's pretty tough to tell uh, to find an article. So the blue helps us uh, navigate. If I lost the blue, that's okay. I'll just go re-enter the URL um, and we'll come right back to there. Um, so that's why it's there. How do you get rid of it? It's really quite easy. If you click on another headline, it transfers the blue to there. So there we have our headline without the blue on it. Whoops, <laughs> unless, I, unless I choose it again. Um, you see, however, if we try to do a screenshot of this, it'll still have the blue along the edge. Might be a little distracting, not look like an old historic newspaper. So let's go over to that one. And there we go. And now we have our article uh, nice and clear. It'd make a great screenshot. Okay, how do we capture the screenshot? There's various ways. If you're on a PC, you can do a screen capture. It's actually built into the uh, operating system. You hold down the control key and you print and you push print screen, which is a kind of obscure key, usually somewhere on the top row on the right. Um, and you can cap and, th and that will do a capture. And then you can open up a program um, such as every Microsoft, every PC has Microsoft Office Picture Manager on it, you can paste it into there and you can edit it. A much simpler way, however, is to use a browser add-on. I'm using Chrome right here and uh, the browser add-on I use is called, what is it called? I forgot, but I'll click on it. You see that sort of um, camera thing. Uh, I have three choices. Capture visible part of page, capture selected area, capture entire page. We'll just do capture visible part. And there we go. Awesome Screenshot. The name of the browser plugin I use is Awesome Screenshot. It's a pretty immodest name, but it might be true. It is pretty awesome.
So what we're looking at now is a screenshot of that whole page I was looking at. But I don't want the whole page, I just want this headline. So I go up here, there's various tools, including a crop tool, and I will crop it. I like the headline, but you know what? Um, I like the subheading too. And maybe we'll go down a little bit more for context. Spokane, Washington, and the date, and a sentence or two. We can always crop it more later, uh, but we can't get it back as easily. So let's do that. Yeah, that looks good. Click the crop tool again, and there we go. There's my image. The great thing about Awesome Screenshot is you can annotate this in various ways, um, though I'm not going to particularly. Um, you can put a rectangle around something, um, or an oval, if you prefer an oval. Uh, there's arrows that you can insert to point out something if you're trying to talk about it. Uh, you can do lines, freehand. Here's something cool, the blur tool. I only noticed this today. You click on the blur tool. Suppose you're doing a screenshot of something you saw on Facebook, but you wanted to hide the usernames of people who are commenting or some sort of image where you wanted to protect the privacy of somebody and blur them a little bit. You can use the blur tool and we can take it over here. We can blur out this. And the more you bring the blur tool back and forth, the blurrier uh, something is so on. You can change the color of all of these functions and you can undo everything, which is what I'm going to do now. So really, that's all I want is that simple screenshot. I'm going to click Done. And that brings us to a variety of options. I can save this online. I'm not sure why I would. I can save the image as a file. Uh, that's the simplest. And it automatically saves as PNG. Uh, that's a common format. Um, I guess I'll save it as that. I'll name it um, Sullivan Shot something descriptive save and I'm done I've got a screenshot of a Google News Archive headline in a format suitable for using in a movie or as a still image or in other things this is Larry Sabula thank you for watching